what's up people today i'm going to be talking a little bit about something that i've been thinking about in my previous videos i did mention that it was interesting to me to see that teams were choosing to prioritize blue side despite me pointing out that the, the meta really favors the counter pick that red side affords so i decided to take a deeper look and a deeper dive into the champions that have been banned at world so far and consider if teams are choosing to go on the blue side because red side is too restricted in the ban phase so if you look at Season 9, this is a, an example of a World Championship where the ban phase for red side was extremely restricted. Pantheon was a mass ban on red side and Kiana followed as well. With these two champions, the moment you gave them over to the opponents, it would be extremely difficult to play the game. Uh, Pantheon, this champion, was just reworked right before the World Championship and it was uh, kind of broken beyond belief. It was only open once during the playing stages, but in the main stage itself, uh, it was pretty much banned always on red side itself. As for Kiana, this is a champion that could go into the mid lane or the jungle, and some people even played in the top lane as well. Uh, she did a little bit too good of a burst combo with the ultimate, and her ability to influence team fights was a little bit too strong. And red side felt a lot of pressure as they were always compelled to ban these two champions, leaving them only one champion to remove from the opponent's possible first pick. Season 8 is an example of a more um, open to interpretation meta, or the stats don't necessarily tell the same story, as the only main champion that was re regularly banned on the red side was Akali, as uh, Akali was, once again, was the broken champion of this meta, and um, she didn't enjoy such a high ban rate as what we see from the Pantheon, as we saw a little bit of a meta shift, as the earlier part of the tournament was focused on enabling the bot lane rather than enabling the solo lanes. Well, season 7 on the other hand was an example of a um, what I would say more expected scenario where we see only one champion that is really contested and has to be banned on red side. In this case it was Kalista, which was banned 80 of 80 games throughout the world championship. So if we take a look at the season 10 world championship, so far Lucian seems to be the boogeyman of this meta or the castle win or whatever you want to call it. He has been banned 15 out of 15 games in the quarterfinals and he has a 92% presence in the tournament itself. He has been picked 9 times throughout the entire main stage and banned 51 times. However, he only has a win rate of 67% um, as some teams managed to pick up this champion and lose with him. Now, there are some existing answers in the form of Syndra, but once you remove that, I think this is the reason why the teams prefer not to be on red side, because all the, the teams that made it to the knockout stages, they do have Syndra and Lucian in the champion pool, and if blue side bans out Syndra, you are forced to ban Lucian on red side as well, as there doesn't seem to be another answer for this champion that can really stop him from doing what he wants to do, which is get priority in the mid lane, enable the jungler to either counter invade and this enables you to have a very strong burst combination to stack a knife on the side lane. Now the level 6 of Lucian is also a very strong power spike that the jungler can play around as well. And some champions that I think can be experimented with if teams decide that they want to open up Lucian on red side is to go for the likes of Kalista and flex it into the mid lane to, to fight against Lucian as she should be able to out skirmish him in the early levels and contest for the lane priority as well as going for Karma with a rune setup of Grass on the Undying which should be able to also contest Lucian in the early phases of the game and disable Lucian's game plan. Nidalee is the other champion that has seen quite a lot of bans in the 2020 World Championship as well. With her being banned 7 or 15 times, that's less than half in the quarterfinals and she was picked 4 times. So it's not 100% presence in the quarterfinals itself. And throughout the tournament, she's been picked 19 times and banned 37 times. And, uh, her win rate is a little bit lower at only 58%. But most notably, that the banning of Nidalee enables Graves to be first picked. And Graves has been seeing a much higher presence. But we don't consider him to be such a power pick as well, as he has his limitations. And while these two champions form the core thesis to the farming jungle style that has been determined to be the meta at, the, at this point of time, Graves has not been enjoying that much success with only a 44% win rate. The third champion that has been banned a lot at the 2020 World Championship is just the Fate. Now this is the most interesting one. While he has been banned 8 times in the quarterfinals, he has been picked 7 times and he has lost 5 times. So I do think we are going to be seeing a shift in ban priority as we advance in the tournament and Twisted Fate is going to go slightly further down and we will see him be opened up a lot more. Now he's been picked 13 times and banned 42 times and he has a win rate of 46%. This is below half. 
So the good thing about Twisted Fate is that you can ignore the mid lane priority. Well, of course, it's best that you can shove up with him and be able to um, rotate and exit pressure on the side lanes. The moment he gets access to his Destiny Gate com combination at level 6, it enables him to instantly appear in a side lane and force a pick. Now, teams that are very proficient at playing 1 3 1 and teams that like to play to enable their top laner or play towards a carry top lane style will benefit a lot from Twisted Fate, and this explains his high presence at this tournament so far. Uh, however, there are solutions being developed to Twisted Fate, and he has dropped games too while Zoe wasn't appearing on this slide because I don't think it's that um, typical of an answer to Twisted Fate. The likes of Silas and Gallo are decent answers into Twisted Fate. So I do think that we will be seeing Twisted Fate be shifted into more of a blue side ban as you do not want red side to be able to pick Twisted Fate on 3 and ban out Silas and possibly Galio as well. Now should teams want to innovate around the Twisted Fate pick, Rumble is a forgotten option that can shove the Twisted Fate in and be able to uh, have a very strong team fighting presence that can answer the 1 3 one style with the equalizer. So that wraps it up as to what are the biggest, what are the most banned champions at Worlds, uh, whether we see any adaptations or whether we see Lucian be open in the semi-finals or the finals itself. I personally want to see some colors in the mid lane, but um, well, it's up to the teams to, to, to innovate and figure things out, right? This was Jensen, and if you like this style of analytical content for League of Legends, do like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you have had a nice day and do keep in mind that even though there are no match days, I still will be releasing content every single day until Worlds has concluded. Get hype for Worlds.